what's going on guys well this video is going to be a little bit different going to kind of take two videos two fishing trips kind of rolled into one kind of uh hit or miss when it's come to fish in the last couple weeks so got a couple small fish throwing a little instructional video into this one hopefully get it all uh, edited today and hopefully post it in the next day or two so as always let's keep it short sweet to the point and hold on to your butts kids I did catch something today. I did catch something today on a gulp double tail swimming mullet without a uh, <laughs> without any tails left. There we go. There we go. This is a fish. I think I actually found the fish up in here. They have actually found a fish. We'll see. Here we go. There's a fish on. I don't know what it is, but it's a fish. It's quick. Little baby redfish. How about that, y'all? Hey, you know what? I'll take it this morning. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks, sir. All right, guys. A lot of y'all have had some questions about how I've been rigging up uh, my different soft plastics in a weedless fashion. Uh, this is uh, actually how I do it. It's very, very simple. These are uh, owner brand uh, twist lock uh, weedless hooks. They have a, this one particular uh, one I've been using the most has a 16th ounce, 1 16th ounce lead weight attached to the shank of the hook. It's actually uh, a really good little setup. You have your curly cue that your lure affixes to. It's very easy. Just insert and twist. Actually twist it all the way down until you have your lure oriented. As you can see, you can kind of estimate where your hook is going to run out of the body. Flip it over. Bring your lure. Make sure you run it straight through run the tip all the way through it comes out the back side you can kind of see how it's already protected this is a down south lure this will work for a bunch of different soft plastic swim baits um, you see me run the two inch swimming mullet the four inch swimming mullet and the two inch shrimp all running on this particular hook okay what I normally do is pull forward a little bit on the soft plastic that way the tip of my hook is actually protected a little less snagging going on there. Is it perfect? No. Is it weedless? Yes. Is it weed never? Absolutely not. Do I still catch a little trash here or there? Yes, I do. But this significantly helps when I'm fishing the marshes and those back little uh, lakes and, and estuaries. If I throw it up in the salt grass, I can pop it right out. If I run it through the, the reeds or anything like that or the mangroves, same thing. I'm able to pull it over without getting hung up. And not having to go retrieve my lure so definitely definitely look into these um, I'm a I'm a fan and uh, this one here I've been using for a couple weeks already and I don't wash my gear every time I go out and the the hook still hasn't had any rust on it yet so good quality stuff go get you some and see if you can't catch a couple more fish 